Shrewsbury exclusive for you today. It's, um, this is actually the, this, the first appearance in the UK of this gentleman, and um, the only one in England. Um, you know his parentage, you know all about the guy, you're going to love this. Please welcome Joachim Kuda. <laughs> TV 
scream. I've been hearing your voice inside each one. I'm wondering what it means. Getting happy, don't you know now? Come along, buddy, don't you want to go now? Getting happy, don't you know now? Come along, buddy, don't you want to go now? Getting happy, don't you know now? Come along, buddy, don't you want to go now? Getting happy, don't you know now? Come along, buddy, don't you want to go now? Getting happy, don't you know now? Come along, buddy, don't you want to go now? I'm, I'm coming back. I'm, I'll be there. Just, you know, bear with me. Little, little <laughs> thing. How's everybody doing on this bank holiday? We are, we are so happy to be here in Shrewsbury. We had the best sleep of our lives last night. You don't understand what that's like. I mean, maybe you do. We all do. <laughs> what am I saying you don't understand? Um, I made this record about three years ago uh, of songs by the great banjo player Uncle Dave Macon. And um, he was born in the late 1800s, and, um, which for us is like really a long time ago. Uh, but, <laughs> and repopularized all this music that he grew up listening to when he was in his 50s and 60s and to a whole new crowd and became the first star of the Grand Ole Opry and did a lot of fancy showmanship. Is it starting again? Is the sound going to happen? No. Okay. <laughs> um, but I came upon him just when I was uh, a little boy. My dad played a lot of banjo around the house and sitting in his chair, and he would go through songs that would come into his head. And one of those songs was a song called Morning Blues, which was an Uncle Dave tune. And I had not heard it for many, many years until a couple of years back, I brought my daughter over to visit my parents. And he was sitting in his chair playing his banjo again. And there was that song. And I said, what, do you, what is that? And he said, Morning Blues, Uncle Dave Macon. And I picked up this, my crazy big electric uh, Mbira, which you guys can all see, see? And started playing, uh, playing along and kind of slowing it down and seeing what I could, how I could see into this music. So we're gonna do Morning Blues for you where, uh, where all this whole little Uncle Dave adventure began.
ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Find me a woman that a man can trust. Well, a dime's worth the grease and a nickel worth the lard. I would buy more, but the times are so hard. I got the morning blues. Oh, so bad. I said, honey, come and kiss me. It's the worst I ever had. so hard I got a woman in the rich folks yard well she brings me meat and she brings me pie bring me some of everything the rich folks buy I got the morning blue oh so bad I said honey come and kiss me it's the worst I ever had I got the morning so bad I said honey come and kiss me it's the worst I ever had I said honey come and kiss me it's the worst I ever had said I said honey come and kiss me it's the worst I ever had song called Sea Level Man from a new record coming out about a man who can't get up too high. He needs to keep it real low to the ground. elevation for a sea level man don't want to be away on up there man keeping my feet down in the sand looking for my own little promised land I got dreams they fit in the palm of my hand I got dreams, dreams of a sea level man. Wanna set sail on the salt and sea with you sitting here next to me? Wouldn't it be so heavenly? I got dreams. They fit in the palm of my hand. 
I got dreams, dreams of a sea level man. Start running like they the ones to beat. Some let the grass grow under their feet. Sit on down and sing it with me. I got dreams fit in the palm of my hand. I got dreams, dreams of a sea. comes from a trip down to New Orleans. And when you're down there, something I learned that when the big Mardi Gras parade goes by, you say, throw me something, mister, and they throw beads. But also while we were there, somebody we were with was uh, not long for this world. And so I thought, God, if I could only say, throw me something, mister, to him as he was on his way out and just get some kind of thing back. <clears throat> but that's one of those things we can't always get. Shuffling of feet just beyond that second line. I can't hear them falling a little out of past your walls every day Do they stop or walk on What do they say Love 
the taste of chicory. Said it was the taste of the morning sun of your history. There's a man who knows your name down in old New Orleans. Said you were the smartest girl he'd ever seen. Ironwood is half my height right about now. The iron wood is half my height. Oh, right about now. That iron wood is half my height. I said, Oh, what a pretty sight. can just help me there's this one little thing that if you could do it would be it would just help us a great deal and that's um, it's called hold the wood pile down it's a Mississippi River steamboat bringing the wood down running the ship type song we're all familiar with and um, <laughs> so I if you could just sing along just it's just the hold the wood pile down line um, I say that's it. And you guys go, hold the wood pile down. And then I say, na 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 na. And then you say, hold the wood pile down. It's just that, just those two things. And I know I can feel this feeling of good, goodness coming from the, the good Shrewsbury people. That means we're gonna do a good job together. Okay. All right. Let's try hold the wood pile down. <laughs> Well, I saw my girl just the other night Hold the wood pile down Everything was wrong, nothing was right Hold the wood pile down I 
gave her a love lick, made me glad. Hold the whip aisle down. I kissed her then in came her dad. Hold the whip aisle down. I was traveling, traveling as long as the world goes round. Backyard shine on the Georgia line. Hold the whip aisle down. Backyard shine on the Georgia line. Hold the whip aisle down. Well, I came to town just the other night. Hold the whip aisle down. I heard a little noise. I seen a little fight. Hold the whip aisle down. Police was walking and running all around. Hold the whip aisle down. Load of moonshine come to town. Hold the whip aisle down. I was traveling, traveling as long as the world goes round. Backyard shine on the Georgia line. Hold the whip aisle down. Said backyard shine on the Georgia line. Hold the whip aisle down. Swallowed a nickel one day, hold the whip aisle down. Made him most crazy, I must say, hold the whip aisle down. But listen now, I'll tell you what it's about. Hold the whip aisle down, it's a nickel in and a nickel out. Hold the whip aisle down, I was traveling, traveling as long as the world goes round. Backyard shine on the Georgia line, hold the whip aisle down. Backyard shine on the Georgia line, hold the whip aisle down. I went to the packing house, stole a ham. Hold the whip aisle down. Folks don't know how bad I am. Hold the whip aisle down. So I took it back home and I put it on a shelf. Hold the whip aisle down. I'm just so bad, I'm scared of myself. Hold the whip aisle down. I was traveling, traveling as long as the world goes round. Backyard shine on the Georgia line. Hold the whip aisle down. Said backyard shine on the Georgia line, hold the wood pile down. Shrewsbury, come on, that was, you did that. You helped us. You helped us greatly. <laughs> okay little Uncle Dave tune. Well, that was one too as well, but that's not on the record. Speaking of the record, I do have them a few, a short, small stack, because we travel lightly. Um, and afterwards, I'll be there doing whatever, signing if it comes up, or hanging. I mean, we just found out that all the flights have been canceled, so maybe we all just stay here. We've been trying to get out. Uh, I, I have this long standing living in the English countryside fantasy that um, just grows by the year. And in fact, I, I told nobody can post any pictures because if my wife sees how beautiful it is, I'm going to be in, it's just going to be a bad thing. Um, it's like 100 degrees back home, and so nobody can let anybody know back home what, what this looks like. In fact, nobody take any pictures. If it just gets any, <laughs> I'm gonna be in so much trouble. We once were at a dinner party and we met this couple and we were, and you know, oh, what do you guys do? Oh, we're musicians. And then what do you guys do? And she said, well, my husband just inherited an English manor that had, had been um, fallen into disrepair and he's trying to figure out what to do with it and he needs a caretaker. And so I said, babe, we'll be caretakers. 
it's so obvious. Like we've been, this is meant to be. Like we're meant to be sitting here with these people. And then she, they said, "Oh, that's great. Um, well, let's have a let's. We'll have dinner, and we'll we'll tell you what is needed to be the caretakers of this manor. And you know, we'll meet in a week. And so we thought, driving home, we, it was like we were already caretakers in our minds. Like we, it was already happening. <laughs> And I bought like a nice wax jacket, like a green, and it was all gonna happen for us finally. And <laughs> and um, my wife had already had; she already has all that stuff. So it was already, it was just in one week we would learn like our future. And so he said, "Well, there's just a few things you need to know about what it means, you know." And we're like, "Yeah, tell tell us." And then they said, "Well, one of the things is there's." gypsies that will come and steal the copper from the siding. Like, are you prepared for that? I was like, I had never been, I'd never, I don't know what that means. Um, do I defend the house? Like, do I stand there? Will you provide, like, do I need, like, a, a, a sword or what? And then they said, and there's a, there's a rule about right-of-ways where if too many people start walking through, it becomes like a they're allowed to walk through it, and so you have to stop them from doing that. And then I started to get, like, I can't stop people from walking. I'm the, I was like, oh gosh, babe, are we still in? And she said, yeah, 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 just keep saying yes. And then, <laughs> and then it finally ended with, he said, are you handy? And I said, handy. Uh, like what? And he said, well, like, what if the pipes freeze? Or at that point, I was just like, yeah, and, and, or electricity, can you fix electricity? And then we just said, you know, it's been so good to meet you. And <laughs> <laughs> we just got in the car and silently drove home. So, but, that's true, I should have, should have called Mark. He knows about all this stuff. But just so you guys know, it's, if you hear of anything, simple will come and take care of it. Molly married a traveling man. I'm gonna sing you a brand new song All about Molly's husband Molly's been married three times and divorced Now she's married a traveling man Now she's married a traveling man Hoorah girls, I'm telling you do the best you can If you want to live easy and rejoice Remember Molly's married a traveling man When he's gone out on a long trip I get a little sad and lonely when I meet him at the front door, sweet papa, where you been so long? Sweet papa, where you been so long? Hoorah, girls, I'm a telling you, do the best you can. If you want to live easy and rejoice, remember. Molly's married a traveling man. Happy, you know. He dresses so neat and he talks so sweet, and that is why I love him so, so. And that is why I love him so. Hoorah, girls, I'm a telling you, do the best you can if you want to live. Remember Molly's married a 
Molly's made a traveling man. Remember, Molly's made a traveling man. to take this opportunity to introduce these wonderful people on stage with me. Raina Gellert on the fiddle and viola. <clears throat> Came all the way from upstate New York, went to Albany, then flew to Frankfurt, then Denmark, then here. She's been on an odyssey. So too has Mark Fain on bass, ladies and gentlemen. From Lebanon, Tennessee. Flew to Toronto first for some reason, then came over here. Um, yeah, I'm very, uh, very lucky to have them with me. I probably just couldn't do any of this without them, <laughs> especially that fiddle tune, which is my favorite, favorite part of the whole set. <laughs> uh, this is called All In, Down and Out. <clears throat> well, it's hippity hop to the bucket shop. I've lost all my money and now I have flopped. It's hard time. What a pity, poor boy, yes, it's hard times when you're down and out. Now this is the truth, and it certainly exposes Wall Street proposition is not all roses. It's hard times. What a pity, poor boy. Yes, it's hard times. When you're down and out.
my money to win some more I lost all I had and it left me so sore It's hard times, what a pity poor boy Yes, it's hard times when you're down Now I got no silver, I got no gold I'm almost naked and it done turn cold It's hard times, what a pity poor boy Yes, it's hard times when you're down Well, it is hard times. What a pity, poor boy. Yes, it's hard times when you're down and out. When you're down and out. Now, because we're in such a lush, verdant landscape, I want, it's going to be hard for you to picture this, but if you think about L.A. right now, it's like 105 degrees, and it's unlivable, and nobody should be there. But when it was time for us to buy a house, we found ourselves in this little part of Mount Washington, which is... It's like right out of downtown LA and you go north on the 110 freeway and you're surrounded by freeways in all directions. <clears throat> and we got this house and it didn't have a backyard to speak of, it was just a big pile of dirt. And so we thought, let's um, try to make this nice and plant some things. And we dug a hole, but then in that hole we found a water heater and we thought, that's so strange. So we pulled out the water heater, and then we noticed behind that water heater was another water heater, and so we pulled that out. And then we realized, gosh, underneath the ground are all these water heaters. And by the time we were done, we had, have to, we had to haul away 14 water heaters. And that's when a neighbor came by and said, oh yes, this was the town dump in the 20s. And uh, that was a new news for us. We had not, we didn't know that moving in. So we thought, okay, let's go get some plants. What shall we do to beautify this once dump from the 20s? And we were walking the, the aisles of the local nursery when we found a little tag on a little plant that said Fuchsia Machu Picchu. And I said, babe, how could we go wrong with such a wonderful sounding thing, fuchsia Machu Picchu. I mean, we know fuchsia plants because they have those little pretty droopy flowers. I know we all know this, but a fuchsia Machu Picchu seemed like a whole another ball of wax. So we took it home, planted the little fuchsia Machu Picchu in the yard and watered it, but nothing seemed to happen. And this worried me. And so, <laughs> I started to sing, to, I started to chant first. It was a little chant, a little Fuchsia Machu Picchu chant. Um, and I was just saying, Fuchsia Machu Picchu, when will you come and say, it was this thing. And uh, I did it every day, all day. And I drove around and I started singing Fuchsia Machu Picchu. And then I thought, God, you know, I've never, I've always just played drums and 
accompanied people, but I find myself singing this Fuchsia Machu Picchu song all day. Perhaps maybe I should actually start taking it seriously and singing Fuchsia Machu Picchu for people. And, um, <laughs> and it led to many great things, like Shrewsbury, for example, is all Fuchsia Machu Picchu oriented. Um, and so my best advice that I've learned is you should sing to your plants, um, for, your, for them and for yourself. And so we shall now, because I'm watching the clock, we have a little time, we are going to do Fuchsia Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, when will you come and set down those little roots? Cause it's hot in that city, but don't you let that get to you. Fuchsia Machu Picchu, when will you come and set down those little roots? Cause it's hot in that city Tonight's a super moon And your red light shining Said your red light shining down Your red light shining Said your red light shining down over this here land. Now, there's a mean sun hanging in the sky, and you could bring shade to us all right about now. Fusion Machu Picchu, baby, when will you come and set down those little roots? Cause it's hot in that city. Tonight's a super moon. Oh no. And your red light shining. Said your red light shining down. Your red light shining. Said your red light shining down. Your a red light shining. Said your red light shining down. time for another. We're going to end with a uh, song by uh, Jesse Fuller, who was a railroad man from Georgia, and then he made it out to San Francisco and became a one-man band. And he played bass with his feet and had a rack harmonica. And 
this song I love so much because it's, uh, it's called Take This Hammer, and he's basically saying, um, this hammer killed John Henry, but it will not kill me. So he walked off the, uh, he walked off the job, wouldn't let it kill him. Let's all get ready for the Red Hot Chili Pipers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 
Joachim Kuda, Shrewsbury, wasn't that wonderful? Make some more noise for him.